Good morning to all of you. Well, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on where you're at. Welcome to the 150,000 subscriber plus Geekdom 101 Q&A, where I answer your questions from the ask.fm, ask.fm slash geekdom101. I haven't done one of these in a little while. I am preparing to do a lot more this month, though, so... Uh, in the next couple of weeks, make sure you throw in your questions to the ask.fm because the week of Christmas, I'm doing five. Well, Christmas is on a Sunday, the week before Christmas. I'm doing five Q&As, five bonus Q&As, so I'm going to kill a lot of these questions for you guys. There will be bonus videos in addition to the other content I got dropping, so just letting you know. Also, in case you didn't know yet, those of you watching this, I got the Geekdom 101 t-shirts. I should have also told you, I'm also... Uh, offering Geekdom 101 hoodies as well. You can pick whatever colors you want to. It doesn't have to be black. Um, so definitely check out teespring.com slash geekdom101official. I'll leave the link down below. And get your hands on a copy of the Geekdom 101 um, shirts because they're limited edition. Those are limited edition shirts, so you want to hurry up and get your hands on them. And, of course, thank you so much not only for subscribing to the channel and watching the content, but also if you purchase a shirt it means a lot to me. I never, ever thought this was possible, and I love the shirt. They look great, and wear them at your conventions, and uh, rock it out. So, let's get to some of these questions sent by all of you on the ask.fm. <coughs> Excuse me. First question, ignoring Cell and the heart virus, was Android 16 capable of killing Goku? Depending on what part of the series you're talking about will depend on the answer. If you're talking about when Goku fought Android 19 at the beginning of the Android saga, absolutely. Android 16 was definitely capable of killing Goku. Not just that, but also the bomb in his chest. If he couldn't beat him in a physical fight, which I do know for a fact that Android 16 could have uh, during that time, okay, then the bomb in his chest would have definitely taken Goku out into a million pieces. But if you're talking about Goku after leaving the Room of Spirit in time... No, I don't think 16 could have fucked with Goku at that point of power. But prior to that, absolutely. And we don't even know how strong that damn bomb is. I mean, we, we they, they imply that he could have killed Cell with it, but we really don't know because we never saw it happen. Most wanted Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 character. Um, I want all the super characters like Shampa in there, which I think we're going to get as DLC. But as far as characters that... Or like in Dragon Ball Z, I guess. Um, I really want Buhan. I, I would love Buhan, you know, Majin Buu <coughs> with Gohan Absorbed. I would love to have Buhan there uh, in the game. I think that would be fantastic. Uh, I can't really think of anybody else. Maybe Garlic Jr. And I always thought that Harutagarn would have been perfect for this game, especially for those expert missions where you got to fight like the Great Apes. I think it would have been fantastic if Herudagarn would be there as a replacement for the Great Apes. And plus, you could even grab his tail. Like, it's almost like they they programmed him in there without actually programming him in there. I, I think that would that was a missed opportunity. Hey, Geekdom, what would you call Trunks' transformation? I go for Mystic Super Saiyan using an old fan term. Um, that is an old fan term, yes. Um, I would not go with old fan terms here because it'll it'll cause more confusion. Even though it's not an official term, we still don't want to have any more confusion. There already is. I don't know what to call this form. Some people have called it False Super Saiyan Blue. Some have called it Super Saiyan Blue 2. Um, it doesn't have a name yet. I think we will get a name. What would I call it, though? I would probably call it something like um, Ultra Super Saiyan Blue. Wait, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? I can't think of another cool... Mega Super Saiyan. There you go. We'll go back to Power Rangers there. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, if Merge Zamasu was unstable due to being half immortal, shouldn't there have been some instability for Vegito and DBZ since Vegito was dead? No, that's not how it works. The reason why there was instability is because basically... Zamasu should have been killed in the fight, and because one of the sides wished for immortality, then the difference is that it's immortality, which means that you survive anything, including death. If Vegito would have been shot with the same power, he would have just died because neither Goku nor Vegito were immortal. You're looking at it backwards. Because one part of Merge Zamasu was immortal, thus... That's what fucked up the other side, which became that mutant purple thing. <sighs> Got a double question here. Um, Jesus, dude. Huh? 
come on. Would you like to see a Cell Jr. return? Maybe one of them survived Gohan's assault and lived his life. Jr. lived his life, grew up, but was always trained to keep an eye on the Z Fighters, watching them grow, learning to achieve God form, finally taking his revenge on Gohan. Not really. Um, I think Mike from Laughing Stock Media did a video about this a long time ago. It's just, I find it hard to believe that they wouldn't have detected this guy's existence on Earth at some point. I just find it hard to believe. Plus, he, he would have probably been killed when Kid Boo blew up the Earth and never been brought back. So, not really, honestly. If you watch the Dragon Ball New Age comic movie, Chapter 35 on YouTube, you'll see what I'm talking about. Piccolo's being wasted in Super. I haven't seen that yet, but it must be a question from... Okay, he's asking me about Chapter 35, Dragon Ball New Age. I have not read that. I have not read that. Um, have you listened to... The Vegeta mixtapes by YouTuber IMXYZ. He does cool dubs and parodies. I have not, but I'll check it out. Is Future Trunks a ripoff from Link of Legend of Zelda? I don't think so. I don't... Just because he has a sword? I mean, what? I don't think so, honestly. I don't I don't think he's a, he's a, he's a ripoff. I like how you always sound drunk. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Do you think that Future Trunks' mysterious form will ever be explained properly? Yes, I already answered that one earlier. Um... Let's see here. What is this? All right, whatever. I don't, I don't need, that's one thing I don't like about Ask FM. You got weirdos asking weird questions. Although Mirza Masu was technically stronger than Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks, do you think he had a weaker key blast than them since Goku alone was able to damage him with his Kamehameha wave against Amasu's blast? I, that's a tough one because the power scale is all weird in that episode. Um, I think I don't think he was giving it his all, but I do think that when Mirza Masu got fucked up by Goku's blast... I do think that it uh, made him weaker after that. I do think he was weaker after that, but not before. So, let me get some stuff out of the way here. Um, no, I don't I don't think his key blasts are weaker. I mean, it's a good theory, though. Okay. Hey, Geek Them, big fan. You're the go-to guy for all Dragon Ball information. Thank you. I have three questions. One, do this from Eddie. Do you think... You'll ever interview Akira Toriyama? I'm deleting this question. It's a dumb question. Uh, no, I don't think I will. I wish. Two, how would you have felt if instead of the other Zamasu wishing for immortality, he body swapped Vegeta instead and we got Vegito Black SS Rose? I like the idea. I really do. Um, I, I mean, I, they, we've already seen too much evil Vegeta, I guess you can say. But I don't know. Like, it's one of those things where. I kind of like the way they did it, honestly. It's it's a, it's a cool idea for the video games, I guess. I, I have no complaints. Fiery TNT writes, Geekdom 101, do you think Beerus could be a 4,000 times stronger than SS3 Goku? At the, at the very least, SS4 Goku would be 4,000 times stronger than SS3 Goku. Do you think Beerus could match that? I am a Dragon Ball debater, power scaling, would like to hear your opinion. I honestly am not the best at power scaling, honestly, and it's one of those things where I think he's actually more than 4,000 times stronger or, or less. I have no idea, bro, honestly. I, haven't even, I don't even think about these numbers. Like, honestly, I don't. I would say he is, though. I would say he is at full power. What are your thoughts about the English dub version of Super Android 13 from Blue Dragon? Um, the redneck stuff was funny. I mean, he looks like a redneck, so they capture that accurately. I've only seen that movie once. So, um, I don't remember. It's been so many years. I mean, I've seen not the movie. I've seen the movie dubbed once. I've seen it subbed a billion times. Are you a fan of the Flash TV show on CW? If you aren't, I recommend it. I've heard good things. <laughs> My friend thinks Videl can beat Chi-Chi in a fight. If they fought before Gohan taught Videl how to fly, who do you think will win? I think Chi-Chi. Yes, I think Chi-Chi wins that fight as well from Vegito. Do you think Gohan will ever return as a fighter and achieve a new form in a future Super Arc? Probably not. Sean Tran. How big is Big D's D? Well, I haven't heard that about a thousand times in the past year. Does Toriyama own the intellectual property of Dragon Ball or Toei can do whatever it wants from Gladio Path? That's a great question. Um, the way it works is that Bird Studios and Toriyama own the characters and the rights of the series. He has priority over everything and he licenses it out to, to Toei to make the anime. Um, it's not that they can do whatever they want. I mean, he has veto power from what I understand. I'm not actually there, so I don't know. I've never read the contract. This is from what I understand from talking to people. So he can veto stuff, and they do respect it, but he doesn't really get involved in 
too much stuff like you would think. He just kind of just collects the checks, honestly. Why didn't Vegeta take steroids to surpass Goku and DBZ? Because he wanted to get laid, bro. If you take roids, it messes up your uh, sexual organs. On episode 43, DBZ Kai, Frieza says, I didn't expect you to be this good. I haven't had to dust myself off since I was child training with my father. In Resurrection F, he's never trained, and now it seems he can sense God key. My question is, do retcons limit creativity from Internet Raveler? Ah, uh, that's, that's up to, really, everybody has a different fucking opinion on that. So, I, <laughs> maybe. Some retcons are good, and some aren't. Let's keep, let's go down a little bit here. How big do you think a multi-universal spirit bomb would be? All 12 universes. I suppose it would be bigger than all 12 universes. I mean, it's just a big white ball. It'd be crazy. All right, blah, blah, blah. Frieza versus Zarbon at bowling. Frieza. Pui Pui versus Kui at tennis. Pui Pui. Uh, we need a Q&A with Hale Zeon. Maybe I'll do one again someday. Uh, let's see here. Um, hey, Danny, first off, congrats on 150K. Thank you. I've been a huge fan of you and your inspired me to create my own YouTube channel. I do 90% Dragon Ball content and I have about 200 subs. Any advice on how to grow my channel? I upload frequently. I don't plan on giving up. Thank you for everything. Well, you've already got the right mentality. Um, I will say this. Dragon Ball is very saturated right now, but that doesn't mean that you can't do Dragon Ball as long as you bring a very unique approach to the franchise and do something that nobody else is doing. It's just becoming harder and harder because there's new YouTubers popping up every day and people are growing. Um, you're right, though. I mean, you really shouldn't give up. 200 subs is actually pretty good to start out with. I remember when I hit 200 subs, I was like, wow, like, <laughs> it's mind-blowing, isn't it? But uh, it was actually not even that long ago. But, um, I mean, it's hard for me to really give you advice. The, the best thing I can tell you is be unique, network with a lot of people, uh, learn about SEO and how that works, and just pump out content and, you know, really see what people are looking for. You know, in the community. It's just there's a lot of Dragon Ball YouTubers. Can the Namekian Shenron unlock anyone's potential? I would guess if you wish for it, he can, but we haven't actually seen him do that. I don't see why he couldn't because if the dragons have the power of their creators, he's got the power of the Grand Elder, and thus, there you go. Dustin Labat, if I fucked up your name, I'm sorry. Do you think we'll see another Super Saiyan transformation in Dragon Ball Super? What is your favorite transformation moment? Um, like when Cell, when Goku went SS2 against Boo or when Gohan went SS2 against Cell. I like both of those, but I think Gohan SS2 on Cell is like the best moment in the series, transformation-wise. Um, will we see another transformation in Dragon Ball Super? Yes, I hope we don't, but I think we will. I hope we don't, but I think we will. I've kind of had it with transformations. I like the fact that Trunks got his own transformation, though. Like, I like that he has an exclusive transformation just to him. I do like that. Hey, Geekdom. In the resurrection of Frieza movie, what if Frieza trained more in his golden form? Do you think he would have beaten Goku in Super Saiyan God form? Well, you're probably talking about Steven Fernandez. You're probably talking about his blue form, and yes. Frieza was already physically stronger than Goku. <coughs> Excuse me. But his stamina was a bit um, off. That was the problem with that form is that it drained too much power. So that's what happened. Why building a fat robot? I don't know. Why didn't Goku use Popo's carpet to reach the sand and save his friends? I don't think the carpets... I mean, I guess he could have. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I didn't think of that. I don't know. Would it really be that much faster in the cloud? I don't know. Do you think... The Android arc and other arcs like Cell and Majin Buu for Dragon Ball Full Color Manga be released. I've only seen the Amazon list up for the fifth volume of the Freeze arc. Yeah, they're going really, really slow with releasing those full color mangas. But I do think we're going to get them. It's just, it might take years. It, I, it's kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie. I have not seen this yet, but I don't click on videos on AskFMs anymore. Broly versus Bojack. Uh, Bojack would have beat Broly in movie 8, but Broly would beat Bojack in movie 10, in my opinion. Do you think Rads with a Mystic Boost would affect him much from Amos Radford? Yes, it would, but not that much. You're right. How strong is TN? Is he stronger than Freezer? Not Resurrection F or SSJ Goten and Trunks? How is he still, or is he still below them? No, I do think he's below them. He did look good in the Resurrection F movie, but I just don't see anything he's done that makes me think that he surpassed Goten and Trunks. Just don't see it. Do you think we'll ever see King Vegeta or Bardock and Super? Love your videos. Well, thank you. And um, I don't think so, other than flashbacks, maybe. Who knows? 
What is your favorite fighting technique? I like the F-E, the Kamehameha. F-E. <coughs> I don't know what F-E is. Kamehameha, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Kamehameha, I like from Lorenz Neuerwither. I don't know what F-E is, though. Favorite, least favorite Dragon Ball Z villain? Freeze is my favorite. Least favorite, probably Boo. Right? Or maybe one of those Red Ribbon goons. Honestly, probably like White is my least favorite from the Red Ribbon Army. Uh, what do you like most? Classic Dragon Ball Z or Super or GT? Um, Dragon Ball. I like the most. Best and worst DBZ arc. Who was your favorite character before Champa? Uh, Frieza, but best and worst DBZ arc. Um, worst? Just Dragon Ball Z? Um, I would have to go with the Guard Jr. for the worst, I think, because it's just pointless filler that went on too long. Best? Probably the Cell Saga, honestly. The Cell or the Sand Saga? Probably depends on what mood I'm in. Cell has a more satisfying conclusion. Are you and the other DB tubers going to any more cons? We will eventually. Geekdom, I want to know your thoughts on the Demon Realm and Dragon Ball Heroes. Also, your analysis and comments of Future Trunks and Gohan part of Dragon Ball's Universe 2 secret ending. I haven't actually gotten that yet, but I heard about what happens and I do like it. And I may do a video talking about the Demon Realm in the future. We'll see what happens. I'm, I got a lot of stuff on my plate, but it is something I have thought about doing for a while. Have you ever played with your ripped, with your nipped or anus while stroking your cucumber? I guess he means nipples. And uh, sure, <laughs> why not? Favorite porn star? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, actually. I, I don't think I have one. Do you like Seth the programmer? His balls are too big, it seems like it. <laughs> well, I've never seen his balls before, but uh, he's good at what he does. <laughs> I've never seen his nuts before. What would you rate Super so far? I give it a 4.5, 5, 2, 5, 6 for the first four arcs. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I guess I, guess I kind of agree. I, I guess I can agree with that. I, I guess. I can't really disagree. How do you grip your penis when jerking it? I use all five fingers, or I use what's called the five finger pud, depending on. And those of you who want to know what the five finger pud is, you basically put all five fingers around, fingers around your cock, and you just go up and down. That's the five finger pud. Sometimes I'll grab my balls when I'm doing it. So there you go. Is coolest power level a 470 million official? I never, I've never read that before, but I don't think so. Was it ever explained to us how Goku learned how to fly? He did it during the 22nd Tenkaichi Budokai with Tenshinhan couldn't do it in the Red Ribbon Army arc. Well, okay. The Red Ribbon Army arc was before the 22nd Budokai. And also, you're wrong because Goku did not fly in that fight without using his tail. Goku did not show off his Buku Jutsu, the flying technique, until the fight with Piccolo at the 23rd tournament. So I don't know if you got confused there or what. So there's no issue there. Um, so, you know, I don't know. Hey, Geekdom, first of all, congrats on your 150,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. You've enlightened my everyday from the very start. I thank you for that. Here's my question. Who is this Amasu that Beerus killed if the one Goku fought is black who already went to the future timeline? That's the Zamasu who was in the present who died. That's it. I've done already like fifth freaking talked about this forever about the timeline thing, but yeah, the, the Zamasu that Beerus killed is just dead. He was supposed to become Goku Black, but Beerus stopped that. However, in what happened was because the Zamasu already became Goku Black in the previous established timeline, then he left the timeline with the time ring. He still exists in the other Future Trunks timeline. When you leave the time stream, you pretty much, you know, you're you're out of the time stream. So you, it, it's Toriyama's way of explaining the existence of Black while while uh, Zamasu died. What if SS4 Goku and Vegeta fused with Potaros and GT rather than doing the fusion dance? How do you think a hypothetical SS4 Vegeta would do versus Beerus? I think SS4 Vegeta, based on the power scaling of GT, pre Potara fusion retcon could have probably won the fight but if it if we're still going by the fact that the that if you use a lot of power you can drain out the fusion Beerus would still win it's just that when they depowered the Potara it changed everything because now fused characters can't even go all out without even Potara fused can't even go all out without draining the time and that's kind of bullshit to a lot of people where's hail Zeon Zeon's around people want Zeon back my question is do you think the future 
In the future, after an arc or two, Gowasu might revive Zamasu with Super Dragon Balls, but with the evil just expelled from him? I don't think so. I think at the end of the episode, at the end of the arc, he was like, I made a mistake and I realize it. I don't think he's ever coming back. Do you think we'll ever get an explanation of some of the stuff regarding the Dragon Ball Super Zamasu Trunks arc, especially Trunk Transformation? Or will they just leave it and never give us an actual region from Hugo Silva? I think we will get one. I don't know when, but I think at some point we'll get a Toriyama interview or a guidebook. If you had the chance to help Toriyama with a super, future super arc, what would it be? Well, I don't know. Any arc. Anything that would be great to work with Toriyama. Any, I think any Dragon Ball fan would love to work with Toriyama. You know what I'm saying? Have you done all your Christmas shopping? If so, what's the last gift you bought, Jeff from Super? I have not. I'm procrastinating that. And yes, I am hyped. And uh, maybe I shouldn't. Frieza looks like a stripper. All right. Poop on your Nana. All right, bro. Whatever. These weird freaking weird questions. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Let's skip past all these. What are your thoughts on a virtual reality, not 360 video, mixed reality, or nor augmented reality Dragon Ball game with realistic feedback and realistic graphics animation? I think that'd be that'd be cool, but that'd be kind of scary. But that would be awesome. I would play any Dragon Ball game, honestly. What's your personality type using the Myers Briggs type indicator? I've never done that Myers Briggs thing. So I don't even know what the hell it is. I've seen it, like people mention it on social media. I have no clue what the hell it is. What's your idea of the perfect Dragon Ball game? That's tough, yo. Maybe something like Burst Limit, except with like Xenoverse storyline. I think if Xenoverse 2 had a longer storyline and it had like a Burst Limit type of combat, I would love that game so damn much. Right now, I really am enjoying Dragon Ball Fusions though, like a lot. So, what do you think of Tree Sickle's video on Goku? I haven't seen it yet. All right. This person just feels the need to spam Z's everywhere. You must have a lot of free time on your hand, bro. I'm sorry if I delayed your question. Just blame that guy. Do you think Merz Zamasu's spirit from killing all the mortals in the universe when he became the universe? <coughs> I don't really understand what that means. I am a little sick, guys. My, my, my cold's gone to my chest, so I cough once in a while. I apologize for that. Who's less funny, Daniel Tosh or Samantha B? I've never, I don't even know who Samantha B is, bro, so I don't know. Polar Express or the rat I put in your closet? Oh, so that was you, fucker. Who in a fight, a pug or Goku? Keep in mind the pug can lift one ton. Obviously, Goku. Why are you always talking about Trunks' balls? Don't you know he ain't got no balls? He pants. All right. All right, all right. Let's get some real questions here. Right here. Which Japanese and or U.S. Dragon Ball Super figure do you think would increase in value the most over the next five years or after five years after Super ends? Keep in mind... Most Star Wars merchandise didn't really increase in value due to people thinking said stuff was going to become valuable. I don't know. I'm not a pro when it comes to, like, merchandise, like, I guess, projections of how much it'll be worth. I mean, I remember when I was a kid, uh, there was a couple years there in the mid-90s where Beanie Babies was, like, the big thing. Like, I remember everybody was like, oh, my God, Beanie Babies, they're going to be worth thousands of dollars. And there's the, you know, you had Don West selling Beanie Babies on the Shop at Home Network every night. Uh, and then just nobody gave a shit. <laughs> nobody gave a damn about Beanie Babies after that little run. So you never know. I honestly couldn't even answer that, bro. All right. Um, who sounds less masculine? Frieza, Funimation, Dub, or Roku, Japanese Dub? Come on, bro. Don't disrespect Nozawa. Obviously, Frieza. Come on, dude. Why does Dragon Ball Nation <coughs> get asked so many stupid questions? Same reason I do. Oh, this guy again. Like, like dude... So lame, man. Like, these people have too much time on their fuck. Get a job, bro. Get a girlfriend. Jesus. Okay. Uh, let's, let's get a couple more and we'll get out of here. Do you think Android 8 will play a big part in Dragon Ball Super's future? I asked this as we keep seeing him in the History of Trunks timeline. It was just a dumb cameo that went nowhere. Honestly, looking back, it pissed me off because we saw him there and it literally meant absolutely nothing. There was no reason to show him at all. Um, I do hope he comes back in Super. Uh, in a cameo. I would like to see him begin in a cameo. <clears throat> Tony Silva, would you like to see Future Trunks return for the Multiversal Tournament and be on the team? Or who would you like to see on the team? Um, not for that tournament, but I would want to see him return in Dragon Ball Super. 
Um, you already asked this question, by the way. Uh, as far as who's going to be on the team, I th I do think that Gohan should be on the team, and I think Majin Buu should actually compete this time. I really hope they do that. Uh, okay. Geekdom, do you think that if Hit don't kill Goku in the next arc, the character that hired him will kill him because he failed? And maybe he not only hired him, but the other strong warriors versus some of the universes. Uh, I think he'll try, but he'll probably fail. Tony Silva, Golden Frieza versus Future Strong SSB, who will win? Come on, bro. Like, that's obvious. <laughs> Again with the fucking Zs, yo. It's, it's just funny to me. I. <laughs> The amount of free time on these people's hands. All right, let's. Now we have a bunch of A's, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's it's mildly amusing, but it's also kind of annoying because there's people who actually well, look at this. There's people who actually want their questions answered, dude. Like whatever, you're just pissing people off. That's great, bro. Get a girlfriend. Um, let's see. I want to answer one more question, and then get out of here, like, cause I'm already irritated at at this kind of shit. Um, this is why I don't like answering questions on Ask FM because of bullshit like that. Uh, let's get, let's go ahead and get this one right here. Good day, Geekdom. Was it ever stated it's easier to control and sustain the Kaioken transformation if the users were not alive? Like with SS3, I don't think it was, but do you think it could be true? No. No, I do not. The Kaioken and SS3 are totally different forms. And I think the big problem with Goku's SS3... Well, Kaioken's not really a form, it's a technique. I think the problem with Goku's SS3 is that he used the technique when he was dead, and thus his real body never got accustomed to it. But I think by the time we hit, like, Battle of Gods, I do think that Goku already mastered SS3, or at least was a lot more comfortable in it. Anyways, thank you guys for checking out the Ge Geekdom 150,000 subscriber Q&A. Let me know what you think in the comments, of course, for some of these questions. And thank you, as always, for supporting the channel. Later today, I should have my predictions for Dragon Ball Super episode 70 that should be up later today. I'm trying I'm waiting on seeing if I get a um some information from Japan about it. Uh, if I don't get information from Japan by like the middle of the day, I'll probably just do it quickly and upload it and then what I'll do is I'll leave the any updates in the comments. Um, I'm waiting for that, so we'll see. If not, I'll just upload it so you guys can have it there. I don't expect any big revelations, but we'll see. Also, next week's Super Review might be a little bit late due to some commitments I have. Not too much, maybe a little bit. But anyways, guys, thank you, and I'll talk to you guys down that road.